I'm Celine Wise reporting for Kids First, and today I'm so excited to be talking with Jason Mills regarding the new movie, The Key to Christmas. Jason Mills is the director, executive, producer, cameraman, editor, set designer, and writer, among other roles. It's safe to say that this production is a Jason Mills film. Welcome, Mr. Mills, and thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk with us. No problem. Thank you for having me. We're very happy to have you. This family movie seems like a family production as well, since I noticed some of the other cast members share your last name. And is this film a labor of love for your family? Yeah, it's totally. Uh, it was made for my kids. So uh, they, they helped me with a lot of the, the prop making, a lot of pretty much just being there, having them there was really cool. I have a three-year-old and a, and a two-year-old now. So it's pretty fun to have them be a part of the movie that you're making. So that was really cool. And you'll be uh, able to spot a bunch of my family members throughout the movie and maybe myself. So You must have really enjoyed being on set. It sounds super fun and interesting. Yeah, it was really fun. When you were writing this movie, what was the message you wanted to convey? Uh, when I was writing, I wanted people to just believe in themselves and believe that you can do anything that you want to do. So believing and just everybody's different as well. So I wanted to portray that in all the elves, like every elf is, has a different personality to show that everybody's different. So it's okay to be different. And I kind of wanted just the audience to feel that too. So yeah. That's no great. How much preparation was there before production started on this film? About a month. So we had one month of you know, I building the props because of obviously the situation that we're going through, it was really kind of uh, just beginning at that point. So I managed to just uh, have a month to do it and get stuck in and build the sets. And it yeah, turned out was... really cool in the movie. So you did yeah, a really good job. Thank you. That was my kids as well. Oh, was this film during quarantine? And if so, what production challenges did that cause? So we started it just before the, the quarantine started. So I had about a quarter of the movie ready, like shot, ready to go. And then we had to stop because of COVID and everything. And then we kind of, I had to figure out how I'm going to make this movie with, uh, with everything that's happening. So I pretty much had to make it pretty much by myself. And another, like uh, Stefan and Freda were the people that we rented the building from. They, they helped a lot as well. So it was like maybe three people throughout the movie making the movie happen. And uh, it was just, it was a, a weird experience, but awesome too. Wow, that must have been really challenging, but also really fun to do at the same time. Totally, a bit of both. Do you have any interesting or fun behind the scenes stories to share with us from making this movie? Yeah, uh, Santa Claus, um, the red beard Santa. Uh, he shaved his real beard off after so many years and I got to film that and just have him shaving his beard and then seeing his face without the beard. That was kind of really, really funny. It must have been so cool to watch. <laughs> totally. This film seems much lighter and more family friendly than your previous work. Has your family life impacted the type of films you would like to be involved in? Definitely. Um, having kids has totally like opened my mind to different things like uh, make usually doing a horror movie or a scary movie to, to now it's uh, definitely for the good I think I, I really enjoy making kids movies I've actually worked with kids many years in the past so I kind of grew up with the kids and I'm still a kid myself so I get to just there's definitely going to be more family movies made for sure Sure. That's really good to know. I'm looking forward to your future projects. Awesome. What is your favorite scene in the movie and why? Um, there's a few scenes that I really like. Um, obviously, my, my, my kids are in there. And those scenes actually have a place in my heart because it just makes me just a little tear in the eye when I see them in there. But uh, there is when Santa changes, any of the scenes where he's changing into these younger versions, those are the scenes I kind of really enjoyed to, to make and create as well. So. That was one of my favorite scenes as well. Yeah. Totally. What do you hope audiences will take away from watching The Key to Christmas? 
Um, I want them to have the same feeling I get when I'm watching the movie with my kids because now we've made a tradition of watching this movie every year and we can watch my kids in there at a young age and everything. I just want people to enjoy it and feel that warm feeling that it has in their own family. So. so can you tell us what the story and how it relates to the book that your wife wrote? So in the movie, um, the Kira character gets a gift and um, it's obviously the book, Kira the Christmas Elf. And my wife, Kiana, actually wrote the book, a real version of the book, Kira the Christmas Elf. So uh, this is made about my daughter and it's a little cute little story, which comes with also a, a coloring book of the same, uh, same thing, which is really, really awesome to have. And you can actually get these on Amazon Anyway, on Amazon, just type in Kira the Christmas Elf and uh, you'll be able to find it there if you're interested in getting it for your kids. So that's really nice to have that part of, you know, my wife getting involved with doing this. So, Holy Nutcracker, that's awesome. Holy Nutcracker, that's awesome. <laughs> I also heard that there was a TikTok and Instagram challenge. Yes, uh, the TikTok challenge is called Wake Up Christmas Challenge. Um, that is going on right now and there's a chance to win the DVD, the books and some hot chocolate. So uh, make sure you get your challenges in for there. And the Instagram is a uh, uh, 12 day challenge, which uh, there's different activities you have to do and that's uh, go to the, the Key to Christmas on Instagram and a Facebook and you can um, find out more about that. So yeah. Wow, I definitely need to check those out. They sound so cool. Yeah, thank you. Hope our viewers do too. Thanks so much for talking to me today. It was great learning about the production secrets and what went on behind the scenes. Be sure to look for the Key to Christmas available now on Video On Demand. I'm Celine Wise reporting for Kids First, and today we've been talking with Jason Mills about the Key to Christmas. Awesome, thank you. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss my next interview or review, and those of our other reporters. Bye now. Happy holidays, everyone. Remember, never stop believing.